enter the promise today i will be having you guys enter the promise and it's gonna be very profound god had me enter just now uh and he had me uh, post this video for you guys so if you clicked on it it is time for you to enter the promise you've been asking god how do i enter the promise how do i accept to enter the promise how do i get into this new life that you're calling me to be in this new profound life this new spiritual supernatural life that you call me to be in this life where this life that i've dreamt of living in and um this is your video this is your time to enter the promise please um take every word do not take every word lightly take it very strongly now today um god let me to read ecclesiastes 3 a time for everything for everything there is a season a time for every activity under heaven remember for everything there is a season a time for every activity under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to harvest a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build up a time to cry and a time to laugh a time to grieve and a time to dance a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones a time to embrace and a time to turn away a time to search and a time to quit searching a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to mend a time to be quiet and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time for war and a time for peace now this is ecclesiastes 3 uh one to, one through eight uh so everything in every season as you can see in the beginning it says for every every season there is for everything there is a season now uh especially let's talk about the supernatural let's talk about the spiritual realm uh let's talk about the calling the journey of christ of the journey of calling following christ spiritually you know we are his children uh you know physically you we're, we're his children you know we're his children um now spiritually in the in the spiritual realm uh when we're following christ you know obviously most of us are not seeing it or are, are not understanding it uh but when we're following christ you know the bible says that we're seated up in high heavens with him now when we're following christ um since our soul i mean our spirit is already one with him we're sitting in high places in heaven now it's time for our soul to go under pruning it's time for our soul to go under pruning you know uh now that's why uh, there's a season for everything now as we all know there's always a season in the spiritual realm for christians you know there's usually a season for you know uh growing a season for change a season a season of redirection a season of isolation especially isolation after you get called uh by god and chosen he takes you through a season of isolation he takes you he, he takes you through a season of of uh, removing people out of your life now there's a season for everything now in this season we are entering the promised land we are entering uh everything that we've always that would never come true but we've always prayed for that's the season we're entering into now a lot of us do not know how to enter the season and i am here as a prayer intercessor i intercede on behalf of people i'm not holy this is just the grace of god this is my calling to intercede on people's behalf now as you are watching this video obviously i do not know your name i'm not a prophet i obviously do not know who you are but i know you're my brother in christ you're my sister in christ all they have to do is take you through the motion of entering the promised land okay like i'm gonna pray for you in a way that you know because of God's grace, he will enable you to enter into the into this dimension, into this high place in the spiritual realm where you will be able to begin your calling. That's 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 just the word of today. So this is how God had me do it. Um, I want you guys, wherever you are, if you are in your room, that's very good. Close your door. Um, you'll begin praying with me if you pray in tongues you know uh you can begin praying with me but um if you don't pray in tongues i suggest please learn ask god to you know help you watch videos on praying in tongues i'll link uh some some people that i used to watch that you know you know really inspired me inspired me to continue on with this uh gift of praying in tongues and understand it thoroughly
now if you're in your room like i said very good please close your door please be in a place in an area where you you will not fall i i would like you guys to be standing because you're gonna take three steps we're gonna take three steps of faith into this into this bow okay, you're gonna imagine yourself going taking us three steps into this bow and you're gonna allow the sea the living water jesus christ to lead you you know after we're done you guys are gonna allow jesus christ to lead you jesus christ will begin leading you into areas where you're going to begin your ministry you're going to begin your calling not just ministry you're going to begin what god had called you to be okay all right so let's get going father god have your way in jesus name the same way you had me take these three steps of faith into the promise allow my brothers and sisters your sons and daughters that you've called for this generation to begin what you've called them to begin holy spirit have your way in jesus mighty name as they take these three steps of faith onto the boat god that you're going to lead them they're going to hear your still voice even if it's small they'll still hear you speak and lead them to do exactly what you want them to do regarding their calling god thank you in jesus name all right, guys, now you can begin taking, make sure you take just three steps, okay? I'm going to wait. Now, as I wait, I'm going to pray. Holy Spirit, every individual, every individual you call to watch this video, allow them, Father God, enable them, Father God, strengthen them, Father God, allow them to hear your voice, even if it's small, even if it's very tiny and they cannot hear, Father God, they, they feel as though they do not understand, they feel as though they've been waiting for something for so long, Father God, allow them, allow them to enter into this place where they're going to be able to hear your voice like never before, where they're going to dream like never before, where they're going to get messages and revelations like never before. Father God, lead them in Jesus' mighty name. Do not allow the enemy to take that gift away from them in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I anoint them by the blood of Jesus Christ from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Father God, sanctify them. Father God, allow them to go under this prunage season god allow them to go under this desiring i mean thirst of your presence for the god that they're going to walk in faith they're going to trust in the process despite of how long it takes but for the god we thank you for this promise we thank you for this calling we thank you for this pruning for the god we thank you for this for these all these battles that we under we, we've we've been undergoing we thank you jesus that we've been standing we thank you that you are our solid foundation thank you that as we remain in you and you remain in us god nothing can stop us from entering that blessing nothing can stop us from entering that promised land nothing can stop us from opening that business nothing can stop us god from fulfilling everything that you've called us to fulfill nothing can stop us from success father god we thank you allow us i mean god God, burn this passion us in us allow us to love you like we never did allow us to be crazy for you like we, we were never before god allow us in jesus mighty name i thank you for my brothers and sisters i thank you god for this faith that you've allowed them to undergo they still did it despite of how they felt i thank you jesus allow them allow them purify them holy spirit have your way jesus and i want all of you guys to raise your right hand and give glory to god in jesus mighty name as we worship i want you all to worship god i want you all to thank god that despite of you not understanding what's happening that you still have faith and you still did what you had to do on your side now we're waiting on elohim we're waiting on the most high god we're waiting on el shaddai the beginning and the end the great i am we're waiting for our father the one that selected us before the foundations of the world just so we could be here today to praise his holy name god thank you for today thank you for the god have your way in jesus mighty name amen all right guys so um you know, like I said, he had me go through this and um, 
it's crazy because I knew something was coming. Um, I knew something was coming. Um, but, you know, obviously I didn't know what it was. I just, we all know, like, if you've been spending time with God and you're, you're you know, right standing with him, you're called by him, you're chosen by him, you know, and you knew this a few weeks back, something is happening. Something is about to happen. He never does anything before letting us know. He just, he gives us, I guess, a revelation, but it's usually sometimes not clear depending on our, our dimension, depending, uh, de depending on our, on our um, spiritual knowledge, on our, uh, on how far we are in, in, uh, in the journey of serving Christ, of uh, being with Christ. So for some people that are, you know, really that been with Jesus for a long time and they've been, you know, allowing Jesus to prune them, to not cut them out the, the branch, but prune them they were able to understand, you know, what's happening clearly. For me, I just felt something. I just felt, and you're probably in the same boat as me, like, I just felt something's about to happen. I even told one of my brother in Christ, something's about to happen. I don't know what it is, but something's about to happen. Um, just something very big. And the more I watched, um, you know, messenger videos uh, from like my other brothers and sisters, in Christ it was it was interesting because they they were like you know get ready for your promise this is happening you're going to be doing this you're going to be doing that and it just made more sense and there's this other lady I watched um she she really mentioned something very specific regarding distractions um God, God had like led me away from distractions after my isolation period because I was kind of drifting into it again and uh God used my mom to like get me out of it and when she was like you know God wants you to get out of that distraction God wants you to do this and um you realize that you were in that until you're out and when she said something like that was somewhere something similar I was very shocked you know I was like wow okay you know so it's 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 very interesting it's it's very it's very interesting guys um you know i'm very happy i'm very happy on your new journey make sure you spend time with god you know however you usually do it you know however intimate like how however you usually do it but you know obviously prayer uh reading god's word uh i've been reading psalms if you guys want to begin uh i suggest reading it out loud uh, I was just glad to read it out loud. It's amazing. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> let me see if there's any word for you guys and for me because. <laughs> All right. Let's read this together. So I will be reading Psalms 63. <clears throat> I'm going to read it up to three. Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you. In this parched and weary land where there is no water, I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself how i praise you god i'm gonna keep going guys i'm sorry i will praise you as long as i live lifting up my hands to you in prayer you satisfy me more than the richest feast i will praise you with songs of joy i lie awake thinking of you meditating on you through the night because you are my helper. I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your strong right hands, your strong right hands holds on me securely. But those plotting to destroy me will come to ruin they will go down into the depths of the earth they will die by the sword and become the food of jackals but the king will rejoice in god but the sisters and brothers will rejoice in god all who swear to tell the truth will praise him while liars will be silenced 
that is crazy guys when um it said my soul thirsts for you my whole body longs for you in the in this parched and weary land where there is no water this is very unique this 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 thing like i prayed about it like i just finished coming out of prayer and i was telling him i was like god i felt dry you know i feel so dry like i feel like as though i'm in a desert like i feel like you're here but you're not you know because i was i was a bit confused you know i spent a few days trying to pray and it didn't feel like like i felt something it felt i felt something like like something was missing so today when i was praying i was like god my my soul like i thirst and long for you like what is happening i'm confused i've been here with confusion i've been i was complaining and the fact that i mentioned that I was thirsty like i kept saying i'm thirsty even one drop of water god i will i will be satisfied it's funny because psalm 63 mentions that and you've probably been feeling the same you know what i'm saying um so honestly if you have not been reading your word and you find it a bit difficult start in psalms and read it out loud take it slow when you're reading it you know meditate on it like feed from from that energy itself feed from that from from every word you know take time if you don't understand what you just read and you were kind of like sidetracked or you know zoned out go back do not rush the process this is not this is not to finish the book you know like i don't want the book to end so i'll take it slow i want i want every word to just pierce through you know bones and marrows and all of that you know what i'm saying uh, but guys okay thank you so much once again i am lucy uh make sure you leave a like comment and share to your friends your siblings um you know share it share it share it like it guys comment uh leave a comment on what you've been going through guys um i feel like if if you share your testimony it'll be able to encourage others you know what i'm saying but um yeah have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my other videos